time to take a look at the results. Oh my god. shower I'm pretty exhausted but I got a message this morning telling me that I finally got the results back from Koda's DNA tests and I am dying to know what's on there uh, but I really wanted to film my initial reaction but before we get to Koda's DNA test you might know that I actually have another dog and you might wonder why I didn't get him tested. Well, that is because I already tested him. So let's start by taking a look at Frodo's DNA test results first. So I tested Frodo here through Wisdom Panel a few years ago. Uh, Wisdom Panel is actually no longer available in Finland, which is why I did a different test for Koda. But it's gonna be interesting to see sort of the differences between the two. So for Frodo, I always guessed that he was um, a mix between some sort of shepherd and then also a, a sporting or retrieving dog breed based on both his looks and his personality. And that was pretty much what I was looking for when I picked him out at the shelter as well. So his test results came back 12.5% uh, Nova Scotia Duck Tolin Retriever, which was a breed I actually had looked into before deciding on getting a rescue dog, so that was kind of interesting. Next, he was also 12.5% White Swiss Shepherd. <coughs> and then the remaining 75% was actually breed groups, so he was so mixed breed that they couldn't really determine any specific breeds, but um, breed groups like Middle Eastern and African and Herding and Terrier, which was kind of interesting. The other two I can get, uh, Terrier not so much. So yeah, he actually came back very mixed breed, which is very common for rescues from places like Romania, where he's from, where the dogs uh, have lived on the streets and bred uh, for a very long time. Okay, so before I go off script completely to look at Koda's results, I figured I would first tell you my guesses. So I've been saying that he is a mix between Shepherd and some sort of Spitz. His head specifically is very Spitz-like and his face, um, and it's very common for rescues from Russia, where he is from, to uh, have some sort of spitz or husky type characteristics. I personally don't have a lot of experience, if any, of spitz breeds, so I can't say much about the behavior other than what I've read online. So Koda's test was by Embark, and I've heard somewhere that, that Embark's uh, breed database should be a bit better for European rescues maybe. And on Embark's website you can, you can actually guess and pick up breeds from their database while you wait for the results. So I figured I would start by telling you those guesses that I filled in and then we'll see um, how, my, how many I got right. So, um, my first guess was Eurasia, and uh, this mostly based on his looks. I think it also matches up with his personality pretty well. And I also have seen his mom, and she also looks a lot like a Eurasia, so um, that's my first guess. Second is a Yakutian Laika. He's definitely the wrong color, but other than that he looks exactly like a Yakutian Laika. Next I put in Siberian Husky. I don't know if he necessarily has anything 
but it really reminds me of a husky except the fact that he's sort of spitz like um, but I figured it's a pretty high chance there might be a little bit of that so next I put in Belgian sheepdog working line but me and my dad actually thought of this breed pretty quickly after I got Koda so I figured that's gonna be a guess. The next I added Finnish Laphund and Swedish Laphund. And then German Shepherd. Um, you can always wish for a little German Shepherd in your dog, honestly. And then lastly, uh, just to fill out all the guesses, I also added German Spitz. Okay, so I think it's now time to take a look at the results. Oh my god. Well didn't expect that. So, um, kind of like with Frodo where I thought um, he looks so special so there must be some very specific breeds in him. Um, it turns out that Koda is actually 100% Central Asian village dog. So, 100% mixed breed basically. <laughs> Uh, I'll just read to you what it says here about the Central Asian village dog. They look a little bit like coyotes um, and they are suspected to be the closest living relative to the earliest ancestors of domestic dogs actually. Essentially this means Central Asian village dogs are genetically the closest thing to the canines that ancient humans led into their camp thousands and thousands of years ago. These dogs are rarely bred on purpose, they usually just populate on their own, they can be both domesticated and undomesticated, and they can be found curling up in homes at the campfires of their humans or rummaging through the trash. They get along well with other dogs because some of them are still relatively feral and live in packs. In addition, they are generally friendly dogs if people are lucky enough to have one trust them. So I actually opened up Embark on my desktop as well to see a little bit more information. For example, I found this part uh, with a list of breeds that match traces of DNA found in Koda's DNA as well. And the breeds were Karelian Bear Dog, West Siberian Laika, Rottweiler, Collie, German Shepherd Dog and Boxer. So technically I got one completely right, the German Shepherd. Uh, my favorite and then also there actually is a Leica on this list as well not just the Leica I mentioned. Another very interesting thing I found on here were relatives of Kodas that have done the Embark test as well and they were actually and there were actually quite a lot and they all had pretty much the same percentage of shared DNA um, so they would resemble uh, um, so they would be considered as related to Koda as uh, human first cousins. And funnily enough, they were all German shepherds. And I think they were, almost all of them were uh, in USA. And many of them were even registered with the American Kennel Club. So purebred German shepherds. Well, um, Quite interesting. I was hoping for uh, more than one breed. But uh, this wasn't a complete surprise since I went through something similar with Frodo here. And yeah, he's a mixed breed stray, sort of. He was found in the backyard of uh, some couple, but yeah. Yeah, this video is probably going to be a little bit shorter than usual. Uh, and I will get back to posting vlogs next week. Um, I've already started filming, I have continued to work on my living room, so I will have something to post and I hope you really like this video and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and yeah, I hope I'll see you in future videos. Bye!